Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 38, and this is war number nine, and we're going up against an alliance called the Golden Company. Okay, let's see who they've banned. Okay, they banned Nimrod, Human Torch, and Hercules. All right, let's uh, take a look at their defense, see what uh, we got on the minis. And the path. Okay, so they got Ultron here. Um, and they've got Nova. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem for Galen. Um, Mad Mardigan already took care of the mini there. Let's see. Up, oh, we've got Omega Sentinel. So you already know that's me. Gonna take her out with Galen. And we've got uh, Colossus. That's Claire. Guardian, Claire. Oh, and we've got Nimrod. So, Nebula, Claire, and Galen, and I'll take both of these minis. Yep, that's what it looks like. All right. Pretty quick. Oh, man. They didn't even put anybody on those two, huh? Interesting. I wonder, did they have anybody that did not uh, place? No, no. They just didn't place anybody there. Okay. Let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're going in with Galen, Claire, and Nebula. And I'm going to get to take two minis on the left. Uh, anytime those two minis, Omega, Sentinel, and Nimrod, are on the left there, I'll be calling them. I have the perfect counters or really good counters. Anyway, the first fight is against Ultron, and he's awakened, which means he's going to heal some of the energy damage done to him. Now, I was curious. I wouldn't say I was really, really concerned, but I was curious as to how much he would heal back and whether that would give Galen any trouble. All right, so as you can see here, I'm just doing medium, light, medium. If he had an armor up, I would just do full um, combos. All right, here we go. Harvest has started. Now, I could have just went ahead and started right away and uh, hit him with a special one. Um, I have to still get used to that. But as you can see, he went down without too much difficulty. Uh, didn't even notice him healing back much of anything. I'm not even sure if Gallon's attack is considered energy or not, but it took him out, so I guess it really didn't matter. Now, the next fight is going to be against Nova. Now, Nova, in the past, used to give me so much trouble. I hated fighting Nova. I didn't know how to evade his special two, and I was constantly pushing him to a special two, so I was always getting wrecked. But in Alliance Quest, uh, I take path five and uh, map eight, and I have to fight him all the time. So I've gotten really good at fighting him. All right, now he doesn't have an armor up, so I'm just trying to build up. Uh, that was a mistake that I did the, uh, you know, full hit combos there, but here we go. And now you see, I just went right in, boom, he's down. So that time I just wanted to get to a special two uh, you know, hit the heavy, fire it off, see what happens. And it took him out. Gallon is a beast. And I am so happy that Kabam is not changing him. Uh, that is why I took him to rank four. Uh, he's already ranked four uh, at this time here. All right. So I wasn't going to be messing with that Sauron. Just had to wait for the middle to be cleared. It's cleared. So now we're going to go back in and we're going to be fighting Omega Sentinel. And you guys remember how Omega Sentinel uh, gave us problems on this node, but we have the perfect counter. Gallon just rocks. And even if they ban Gallon, I will go in with probably Titania. And uh, I believe she'll be able to do this fight as well. So... You know, whatever they do, they start banning Gallon. Then when I see Omega Sentinel here, I'll just bring Titania in. Um, but 
with her, I just don't want to do the same attack twice in a row. So I do medium, light, medium, medium, light, medium. See, she got a few armor ups because as I was told, she has a chance even on a power. So I baited out the special one just to get her to use up those armor ups. Now our harvest is done. I just went in and fight's over. Fight is over. Just like that, just that quick. Omega Sentinel is gallon food. Okay? As you can see, that was just... How long did that take? 21 seconds. And she was done. Love it, man. Definitely a worthwhile rank up. But to be fair, he doesn't need to be rank 4 to do that. He could do that at rank um three as well but i wanted him at rank four um this fight pretty standard if you've seen my uh alliance war videos uh you're almost always seeing uh colossus here very very popular he has uh you know he gets the armor ups so you want to take in a bleed immune but claire is just perfect because she strips away his armor and she's bleed immune in her cursive uh, blood phase. All right, but anyway, um, Gallon, even at rank three, would be able to take that fight. So if you have a Gallon and you have him at rank three, um, I'll bet even a, a five star would be able to do uh, that fight. So, you know, don't don't think that just because it's a six star rank four, try it. Try with a five star and see what happens. Uh, we, we may start seeing a uh, gallon ban, but we'll see. Um, I got alternates, which is why I took them up so that, uh, even if they ban a uh, gallon, I'll have somebody else. All right. So now we've got the, uh, last fight before the, uh, next mini and it's guardian. This fight pretty straightforward. Um, I was told that if he doesn't have an armor up, he doesn't auto block. And I, I didn't know that. So my style of fighting him is just to fight him without specials. Uh, it seems safe to me. Um, I got blocked once with uh, Claire, but I don't remember if he had an armor up. He may have, I may have just gotten really unlucky and he propped his armor up right when I went to do the special. And so he was able to um, uh, auto block it. But it's it's just safer to just go ahead and fight him normally. As you can see here, and he decided to try to block a little bit. So I was just gonna batter into his block. And he's down. So, you know, it's a pretty straightforward fight. He's pretty easy, just have to fight him straight. You know, don't don't worry about the special. The only thing that firing the special would do is make the fight go a little faster. That's it. Uh, and in cases where the war is really, really tight, that can come into play. But otherwise, not a not a bad fight at all. And then we've got Nimrod, just like how Galen tears up Omega Sentinel. Ne uh, Nebula tears up Nimrod. Mm, two ends. Nebula, Nimrod, Nebula, Nimrod. Anyway, so all I'm doing here is trying to build up my uh, charges here. Once I get to like 20, I'm going to unleash. But you can see that he's doing good damage into my block, which is why I really don't want to take too many block hits. In, uh, in. He does more and more damage it looks like so i got 20 charges right now so now what i really want to do is get to a special two all right now i'm right here i want to bait it out here we go bait out his special one i can block his special one i don't care there we go and boom now i tried to stagger it a little bit and i missed it i i messed up because what happened here, because the fight should be over at this point. What happened is he power locked me so I couldn't fire the special two off in time. If I had 
pushed myself to a special two first, then waited, then parried, I would have been fine. So not a big deal. It just made the fight take a little bit longer. That's all. Um, I have to, you know, practice that. All right. But anyway, that's the last fight for me of this uh, particular war. And we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and you can see we won this war. Uh, we need to get more wins so that we can be sure of getting to Platinum 3. That is our goal uh, for this season. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting that like button. It does help out. Take care, and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.